of the let's get right into it with a VIC readings the former book. Look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today we have Ball Corp, but ticker is B A L L or Ball. Uh, ball. Uh, price to the point of funding is $52.49. This is not a recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. And uh, let's get right into it. Please write down in the comments below. If you have invested, will invest, or why not? Do Ball. And start with the background. Ball Corp is a global leader in beverage cans with 30% market share globally and 40% in the US. Ball also has an aerospace division that specializes in instrumentation and components which make up makes up about 20% of earnings. Ball's primary customers are large beverage companies like Coca-Cola and AB in Butte. The reason why this opportunity exists is because the beverage can industry overbuilt supply in 2021 and 2022 into a beverage can market that declined sharply due to a post-COVID pullback and moderating demand from a slowing economy. Furthermore, rising aluminum prices lead to a price slash cost squeeze with all these factors taking operating margins from 30% in 2020 to 10% in 2022. This so-called perfect storm is unwinding in 2023, which sets up well for ball. Thesis point one, capacity is rationalizing in 2023. The global beverage can market is fairly consolidated with the top of four producers holding 90% market share in the US and 65% globally, with a ball being the largest products. Ball's largest competitor is Crown Holdings, which holds 20% market share gro both globally and in the US. Leading up to 2020, the NAM beverage can industry was oversold and operating at utilization rates over 100%. Since 2019, exiting 2020 with 110 billion cans of capacity. Exacerbating already tight supply was a COVID-driven demand surge in 2020 and 2021, where demand went from 105 billion cans to 120 billion cans in 2021. In response to the surge in demand, the top players announced and added capacity for 25 billion cans in 2022 to, through uh, 2023, which led to beverage can utilization of falling to the mid-90s by the second half of 2022. Since mid-2022, 7 billion cans of capacity have been mothballed and plans for 5 billion cans have been postponed indefinitely, which brings utilization in, two, in the second half of 2023 back into the mid-90s, bearing a severe economic recession. Thesis point two, demand is stabilizing and inventory destocking is nearing an end. Beverage can... And demand disappointed in 2022 as beverage producers prioritized price over volume, coupled with destocking leading to NAM shipments declining in 2% versus expectations for HSD growth in nearly 2022. Exiting 2022, beverage can demand grew 1% to 2% in November and December after declining LSD through the summer and fall, according to Nielsen data. Based on anecdotes from CCK and Ball at recent conferences, in November, destocking is in light innings and demand has stabilized off low levels and showing some green shots entering the holiday periods into uh, and into 2023. Based on the above, I think a reasonable outcome is 1-2% to 2 growth in 2023 versus a historical 3-4% to 4 growth rate. Separately, Ball is confident that they can grow EPS 10-50% in 2023 with flat volumes given cost structure rationalization and cost inflation clawback from declining aluminum uh, prices. Thesis point three, price slash cost squeeze turns into a tailwind in 2023. Due to the timing of contracts with the major beverage can producers, there's a lack uh, for the contract renegoti renegotiations and PPI escalators to hit ball financials, which translates $100 million of net pricing to ball in 2023. Furthermore, aluminium is down 35% from the 2022 peak, which benefits ball corp in the form of inflation relief and also makes uh, making the beverage cans more cost competitive than other substrates, especially plastic, which means ball will likely see pricing reset higher at flat to LSD volumes or volumes uh, pick back up to MSD growth with some price give back. Either way, Ball is expected to gain back margin in 2023 back to the historical 13% level. Financials and valuation. 
I think a ball is a posi position to grow EPS 15% in 2023 with net plus VE price from PPI escalators contributing $100 million in EBIT, $100 million from cost savings, and $50 million on recovering raw material inflation, driving three point. At three dollars and fifty cents EPS for 2023, seven percent above current consensus. Ball is historically traded at a 20x multiple prior to the capacity and earnings challenges in 2022. I expect Ball to trade back to that historic multiple of 20x, and at three dollars fifty cents EPS, it implies a price target of seventy dollars per share, 33 percent upside. The following chart illustrates Ball's historical PE ratio. Catalyst. I think Ball is likely to guide a conservative during their fourth quarter 2022 earnings call to set the bar low, but will continue to beat and race through 2023 as they gain confidence through the year. The ideal catalyst timing is after they set the bar lower enough. Thank you very much for tuning in and see you next time.